up wedding nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for tokyo ghoul re chapter 158 and last chapter of tokyo ghoul re was really interesting so we were in kaneki subconscious and the analogy that i guess i missed was that we're basically at the river sticks and rize who showed up at the end of the chapter is the guide to you know to health or and some analogies to hades anyway uh let's get to this chapter and see what happens next here we go you always appear the girl who left her books and her food rize yes yes rize why are you and um and what is what is where? Um, what do you mean murderer? Where are you off to? Where everyone is? I need to save them or everyone? Naki and Niza, well Naki's dead, but um, Hiraku and Fuka, Hinami, Toka, uh, Sukiyama, he, and the others might have gone to back them up, but everyone at GOAT headquarters, um, the CCG is after all of them, She's laughing at him. The tubs are after everyone? Quite wrong, um, Mr. Kaneki. They, they went after them because you were with them. And for you are the one-eyed king himself. You gave yourself that title, did you not? You. You attempted to protect Ghoul Kind, but really you just hold them up in a horrifically dangerous place. What did you um what did you mean to do by going back like that? I'd go back in. I was going to protect everyone from the ambush, going to reform our broken ranks and and then that's it. Rather than solve our um provisions problem uh problem, we should have just launched a surprise attack on the CCG. Why? To beat them, to beat Farada. Why would you need to beat them? Be beat them so we could talk. For because remember, Kaneki doesn't know what what's happened around him. They don't know that Farad has been outed. He don't he doesn't know that the CCG and the ghouls are working together. They, he doesn't know. For the sake of understanding between human and ghoul kind, we talk. And to make that happen, we needed to dull the CCG's fangs. Hmm. So you wanted to become a dictator, huh, Kaneki? Ooh. Rize makes a point here, because what Kaneki is trying to do is he's trying, in a way, he's trying to have a mil do a military coup. And the thing is, and that's what a lot of dictators do, is they do military coups, they um, take down the president, and um, they take over the country. But to me, Farada was more of a dictator, and Kaneki just wanted to take down the dictator. Um dictator i mean you meant to solve things for military might to force them to nod their heads no see she's got a point here having lost uh, to you humans would have had no choice but to accept your terms right yeah and Rizzi is making some points here exactly what part of that strikes you as talking a dictator is that really what i wanted to become i i don't think kaneki wanted to and I, like, I didn't, I don't think he meant to become a dictator. What he just wants is peace between ghouls and humans and to just have ghouls be able to uh, live a peaceful life. Call me what you like. If that's what it takes, I'll do it. No! God, I see an admirable resolve. Let's see if you can hold on to it after seeing this. What? This is your home, goat space, the place you attempted to protect. I saw it all, your organization crumbling into dust, that too, by your own hand. Think I'm lying? Want proof? Touch me. It's going to kill me. No, um, it hurts. Uh, no, um, no, 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 save me. What? I'm scared. Snap. 
a dream, a dream. This is just, uh, f um, forgive me, someone, monster. I can't run anymore. Um, I'm being crushed. Why? Um, there we go. Then the police was there. Um, why? Grr. It hurt. Um, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It's huge. I'm going to die. Why me? No, God. A monster! Everyone, where are you? I'm not ready to die. I'm so sorry. A monster! Ah! <laughs> Good. Eek! Um, it's over my eyes. Eek! Uh, no, go away. A oh, rip! In the uh, name of the CCG! K no! Hold on, let's see if I'm missing anything this time. Um. And my child, is this, is this the end? No way. She's taught, and I know what Rize is showing. She's showing when Kaneki transformed. The voices of that. Ugh. Oh no. Weez, Weez, down there, the people in the water, are they? Yes, they're people you killed. I'm sure you all ha will have a lot to talk about now, no? No, not this. This, is, this isn't what I... Protect everyone? Create a world where humans and ghouls can understand each other? <laughs> oh my god, Rize is just laughing at him. Kaneki, you want to go back? To save them? Snicker. I hate not being able to do anything. I mean, come on, you make me laugh. It is precisely because you keep doing things that people keep dying. It'd have been better if you didn't do a damn thing from the beginning. Not a single thing? I, I somewhat don't agree with Rize because I still think Ferrata would have carried out this act. Even though we knew he was going after Kaneki, I still believe that Ferrata would have um, still committed ghoul genocide. I, I still believe that. I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys believe that Ferrata would have still carried the ghoul genocide? Or if, um, or do you think that Ferrata wouldn't have done that? You, or do you think that Ferrata wouldn't have even come to power if Kaneki didn't do anything? To me, I still think it would have happened regardless. And some, if it wasn't Kaneki, someone else would rise to take his place to fight the CCG, to form GOAT. But that's just my opinion. Uh, nothing. This is what you wanted, right? And this chapter is titled Right, and it says nothing, sto uh, nothing stolen, nothing born. Is that what I... And next is... Ooh, we're going within the depths of the earth. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. If we're going in the depths of the earth, there, it could only mean a couple things. One, Kaneki is going to face judgment or in the underworld, or we're going to go back underneath the 24th Ward. Those, that's what I think. But this chapter was really deep, and it, it was really fucked up, too. But the but I feel like Kaneki is going to get through it. Kane and again, I feel like Toka is going to like hearing Toka's voice. If you know that comes to that, I think that's going to be the way to set Kaneki free. I'm still sticking by that statement, by that theory. I feel like Toka is going to be the one to set Kaneki free, and I and I feel like in a way with Rize's reasoning or Rize's logic in a way Rize is right that um uh unconsciously Kaneki was becoming a dictator but at the same time I understand what Kaneki wanted to do he wanted to nego he basically wanted to negotiate with the CCG after getting rid of Farada but again Kaneki and even to an extent Rize doesn't know that um Farada has been outed and overthrown and the CCG realized what they did 
was wrong and to an extent they realized what they did was wrong and it's actually because of Carnegie that the CCG and the ghouls came together if you think about it so I'm really curious what you guys think about Rize's logic I really I, in a way I agree with her but in a way I disagree with her because if Carnegie didn't do anything I still feel like someone would rise up whether it was Toka, whether it's Tsukiyama, whether, whether um, any other character, any of, of the big wigs, um, and go, I feel like they would have still risen up. I do. But the other thing is, is do I think Mitsuki would still be fucked up in the head? Yeah, probably. Mitsuki would still probably be extremely fucked up in the head. Because remember, she was already fucked up. But... I'm just curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that if Kaneki didn't do anything, that none of this would have happened? To me, I don't think so. But the main difference, I would say, is that because of Kaneki, you it united the CCG and the ghouls to work together. If Kaneki didn't do anything, and even if it was like Toka, for example, that stepped up, I don't think we would have had this result. But anyway, I'm very curious what you guys think. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, follow my Twitch channel, follow me on Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.